Hello, hello, and welcome back to Shadowrun. Uh, I am Maester Alix, and again, this is Shadowrun. Uh, picking up this series after a long hiatus, um, let's see, September to February. So I will leave a uh, link to the episode zero here. Anyway, uh, this is episode one, so we're really going to start getting into this. Um, I'm not going to be really following a time format for this series. I'm pretty much going to go from uh, one run to the next, and however long it takes, it takes. And we'll just go through the whole thing that way. So, uh, let's begin. Down and out. Your apartment. Three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and it isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled for in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now it's about all you have left. Running in the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're ha you're a no one day you're Nova Hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five star restaurants. The next you're here. This uh, this one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called. The money's run out and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your new yen. Something needs to change. And soon. A slip of paper with your bank balance. Enough to cover you through the end of the week. Well, at least I've got that much. Your notebook, calendar, contracts, that kind of things. Your contacts. Let's see. Creator Detroit, Fixer, no response to messages. Dowd, runner, dead. Felton Nash, Fixer, missing since February. New Larry, runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner, probably in the gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Half Jack, dealer, retired or dead. The list goes on. All, all are either dead ends or just plain dead. Personal calendar. It's empty. Nothing to do. Put down your notebook. Answer your vid phone. Sam Watts. The scream leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again. Or worse. Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So, why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living at high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that rank that Renraku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd, the name you haven't heard in a long time. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks, the night Dowd went down. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd. Never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this friggin' city, Alexander. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. Hmm. Let's see. I get it. Now take a pill and relax. Sure, Alexander, sure. Whatever you say. Sam Watts. I don't know, Alexander. Sam is a good guy. He can hold his own in a fight. 
but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways, nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixture is late. This smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set up the meeting. This place was supposed to be a public place. Cut the dreck, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't your fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Spill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been you've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. Well, let's see. You've been drinking, Sam? On a run? No. Not a drop. Not today. Not ever. Something dawns on him and he, le he leans into New Larry, amused and, da uh, amused and dangerous. We were set up. And he knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renraku? How come you didn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling lightning bolts, son. He should have been burnt to toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder into the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where it's going. You charmers are damaged. I'm out. Did you keep us here long enough, Larry? He stops and s as a smile pros as a slowly appears in his face. Looks that way. Sorry, Alexander. I kind of like you. I just like money more better. We've got incoming! Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're going to take up, uh, take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our uh, we should choose our friends more carefully, Alexander. Uh, let's see. Buy you a drink after this? You'll owe me several. Leave the mage, kill the others. Looks like they got the drop on us. Let's see, I'm going to use my pistol. Really? Mark target. There we go. Now shooting him is going to be a lot easier. I'm gonna have her summon a spirit. Oh, a little typhoon. Nice. That's Sam. Let's see. Spray and pray. Burst fire. Eh, yeah, don't need to have the AoE. He had that coming. That he did. Let's see. Haste, bear totem. Oh, no one, no one here got wounded. Nope, nope. So, not the bear totem. Haste on Alexander. Nope, nope, can't this turn. Alright. Aimed shot. There we go. Let's see. Gonna move there so we get some cover. Mark that guy. There we go. Now my Sam 
And that, actually. Yeah, she. Get a better shot. There we go. Now Sam can move to a more advantageous position. We're going to spend a few AP to have this less likely to escape. Because if it escapes, it'll become an enemy. And that's exactly what it did. Well, let's see. I'm going to move here. And I'm not feeling too good, so I'm going to use a med pack. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Good job, Sam. And you... Cast that spell on Alexander. Get some extra action point. Let's mark these targets. At least one of them. Uh oh, grenade. All right, well, then let's mark one of these people. Help me get a better shot on him. There we go. Bear totem. Yes. Please heal Sam. There we go. That'll help. You clean up your problem. Sam, you move over here. And 44, 66, 57. Not the best chances, but still. Oh, not enough ammo. Okay. And reload. Now they're gunning for Sam. Eighty-seven, forty-three, thirty-six. Well, one, two. Excellent. Oh, great! More. This is bad. They have a shaman. Since that shaman's going to be a problem. Oh, great. They summoned a spirit, too. And it just runs away. That's great. Uh, 
All right. Sam, need you to deal with this problem. Thank you, buddy. That's really helpful. Okay. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, here's that spirit pet again. Helping us out. Thank you, spirit. <sighs> Saint Goma lowers her gun. Hi, Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. You don't look so good, Sam. You were born for this, Gage Alexander. Me, not so much. I think we're gonna hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? Let's see. Me, I do this. It's the only life I know. Well, you're a dumbass, and I th and I'll drink to you when you're dead. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, out I'm not gonna outlast you. Guess you can drink one to me. You stare at Sam's face on your comlink. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is on the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand New Yen insurance policy payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or dead in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain, when the job is done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet? The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to him. Pursuant to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain has installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then be begin a verification process. Note that you must be also on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmission from comlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously, first time. Look, Alexander. I've led a direct life and probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap while I sucked air for a while. What do you say? I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I hope you just said yes. I've got a locator chip slot in my head these days. If. When my heart stops it'll activate that's how you'll find me see you on the slab rest in peace Sam see you in Seattle the dead man switch your plane hits the sea tack tarmac with a jolt welcome to Seattle the chilly northwest rain obscures your visions as you step onto the tarmac before long, you're sitting on the cramped backseat of a cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ grinders, a legal chop shop for body, for body parts, whether from the living or the dead. If you're hurting bad enough for New Yen, this is a place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is closest thing to the Barons has to a morgue. It seems that where Sam Watts' body is ended up, you open the door and are assaulted with the smell of death and bleach. End 
And that is where we're going to leave it off for this episode, everyone. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you do, please do the usual YouTube thing of like, comment, subscribe, hit the little thumbs up button and the bell icon, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you really, really like my stuff, then please share, because sharing will get uh, more eyes on my things and more friends to follow and family and all that wonderful stuff. So yes, please share with everyone you know, and I'd really appreciate it. And if you really, really like my stuff and want to support my channel in a more meaningful way, then please head down to the links below, uh, in the description below. Uh, one is to my Discord server, where you can reach me all day, every day, any day. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And the other is to my Discord server. I'm oh, sorry, my Patreon uh, service. Patreon subscribers can enjoy a variety of wonderful rewards, including early access to videos, exclusive videos, and all sorts of other wonderfulness. So anyway, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time.